hello guys how are you first of all happy new year to all of you and uh, all the best for your examinations that is coming for the fourth, uh, coming on 4th january today i am he here to uh, give you some tips exam tips uh, for the upcoming infosys uh, off campus drive that is going to happen on 4th of january i will discuss uh, with you some questions some uh, topics from uh, from there they might be going to ask some questions so guys first of all uh, i request you all to please subscribe my channel and on this channel i am uh, going to upload uh, the videos about infosys uh, selection process because infosys is a very big company it's follow the uh, follow a proper rules for onboarding someone it's took uh, so much steps uh, it's had the uh, paperwork uh, some uh, uh, waiting uh, some waiting period some training and all other things then after uh, you uh, got into the infosys main campus so guys uh, please subscribe this uh, channel and uh, let's come to the topic so guys uh, First of all, uh, we will discuss about the roles uh, that we have and the question number of questions uh, in the examinations that are going to be. So in this examinations, you have four questions. You are, you are going to tackle four questions, and uh, four questions has the different different difficulty level, and uh, the from the level of difficulties with the questions, the roles that info is going to give you each associated. Like if you going to so if you so able to solve the first question, you are going uh, you will get uh, DSE role, digital specialist engineer role. If you are able to solve the two uh, two questions, first two questions, then uh, you will uh, get uh, special programmer l1 role sp l1 role but if you are able to solve three questions you will get a special programmer l2 role that is a good uh, that is a very uh, big role uh, in infosys for the fashion but from this year infosys uh, going open uh, is uh, hiring direct hiring on a specialist programmer l3 role this is the last role uh, in the specialist programmer role then after the senior leader same positions are start started after this role so infosys now directly hiring on this uh, specialist programmer l3 role if you go through the traditional uh, traditional uh, promotions it took around uh, Five to six years to reach that uh, level. The special program L3 level is a uh, higher rank level in Infosys, and uh, if you join at special L1, then it will take too much time. So, uh, the same way, same way, the number of students are very uh, going to select it on this role are very less. Only five percent of students going to be selected on L3, and ten to fifteen percent of students going to be selected on L2. So, the most of the crowd that are going to be selected, that uh, they will be selected on either DSE role or special program l1 role so this uh, dsc and special program l1 sp l1 roles have a combined of 80 percent of total selection infosys uh, leadership has uh, stated that uh, they are going to select 20 uh, 20 thousand uh, freshers so on this uh, uh, fulfillment of the requirement uh, they are started the uh, mass hiring on uh, these roles so if you are able to solve one questions you will uh, get directly the dsc role if you able to solve two questions you will at sp l2 so the level of difficulty on these two levels is a good if you are solved at a, uh, if you are able to solve lead code questions at the medium level questions and some hard questions if you are able to understand the concepts behind the these questions uh, these algorithms so then definitely you will able to easily solve the questions in, uh, in this example there will be four questions you have 3 hours time to solve the, all the questions but i know that uh, the most of the students that 80% of the students not able to solve all the four questions they will be able to solve either one question or two questions because the third question has also the uh, good difficulty level it is a by luck that you are able to solve the third question also or uh, not luck but if you have uh, so much practice you have so much uh, uh, understanding about dsa then only you will be able to solve that question most of you will be able to solve first questions and the second question first questions uh, they are going to ask from the simple array questions array uh, traversal questions metric traversal questions and uh, some stack queue like if i uh, talk about my uh, question uh, like my first question uh, last year i gave my examination for this uh, info uh, this role so my first question was uh, traversal on matrix traversal on matrix that i have to find the max in the uh, rows and the mean in the uh, column uh, then after i have to find the max in both of them uh, so what uh, that was my uh, that was the answer of that question so it was something like a, a tricky type question because if uh, when i read that uh, question statement it was uh, too much confusing not able to understand what they actually want i travel i did some lots of some uh, div uh, divide max mean find uh, on the that but after the some time i able to figure out that this is the simple uh, finding of mean and max in the array so in error matrix so same way i'll uh, tell you I will hope that you will also going to do that you first read the questions very carefully then after you uh, try to find like how test case is and uh, how uh, the answer of that uh, those test case are uh, given sometime it is uh, relatable you will able to find that uh, relationship and then accordingly you can code and you will get the answers and sometimes you think that your code is not going to be correct but it, it will uh, sort, uh, pass all test case so uh, approach carefully for the first question and uh, this is a contest type and so there is a uh, some uh, ranking system in this if you are going to uh, uh, submit a wrong answer you will get penalties uh, penalties of uh, your ranking like same as the uh, lead code you know that if you submit a wrong solution on lead code your rank 
got a case you will get penalty of 5 minute in elite gold so same way here also it is a contest type so the question is not going to be asked on traditional uh, dsc type question the question is going to be asked as uh, competitive programming type question so you have to be uh, good in competitive programming for the third four questions but for the first uh, one uh, first and second questions you just have knowledge about the some uh, good part of dsc and structures also you should know about the uh, graph traversal graph traversal you should know about the zero one knapsack type problems pick not pick type of uh, dp questions you should know about the binary search because most of the, some case you will find the nearest element sometimes shortest you know uh, you should know about the prime number uh, finding the shortest way to find the prime numbers and uh, some uh, strike q traversal type questions you should know so these questions they max uh, maximum ask here the this preparation questions is about the interview questions like even when you get selected then you will go for interview and if you got selected for the sp l1 these questions definitely they are going to ask uh, any of one find the max product survey longest increasing subsequence longest common subsequence geo knapsack added distance these are uh, questions they are going to ask you can practice these questions uh, from striver sd seat even i have also solved all these questions uh, from sd seat uh, striver sd seat it was very helpful for me i will show you that what questions they ask me in the later this video so then after you can uh, go for uh, some other uh, questions this is the most uh, frequent question and traditional uh, famous questions i can say uh, coin change subset sum this subset sum was my question uh, they asked me in my interview then rod cutting problem egg dropping uh, problem these type of problems for the graphs they ask mostly ask uh, dfs and dfs even dfs and bfs might come in your uh, assessment examinations so you should have to practice on some questions uh, some of these questions because uh, first and first two questions are not going to be hard you will get uh, three hours of time you should have to solve only two, two questions for the first two and a half hours you have to give you all your effort to solve only these two questions if you want to solve one question at least you will definitely get a dsc role if you want to solve two questions spl1 and spl1 is a good role in infosys and if you able to solve all these questions easily then after definitely go for th third and fourth question and try to solve them also so then after uh, uh, there are some questions uh, about sql sql is not going to ask you in uh, your assessment sql is going to be asked in your interview they will definitely ask a sql question because uh, during my time they ask everyone about sql they give you some questions either one or two questions to solve in front of them you have to write the code and you have to tell them approach what approach you're going to took for the solving uh, like uh, the most uh, common things they are asking in the sql is that uh, the, uh, that a where clause the join of the multiple table the first of all they will ask you to join the table then after you, they will ask you to do either where condition or group by condition group by for the aggregation if they are going to give you some uh, hard question they will ask you about window functions window function dense rank rank number row, uh, rank row number like they will uh, the some uh, famous questions is about the find the uh, second highest salary from each group each department uh, each department or each company sometimes uh, something like these type of questions they might ask from in sql so you you can practice uh, this uh, sql questions from lead code this 50 lead code top sql 50 questions even i also practice this question uh, this questions then after uh, for the solving uh, the uh, cp level questions for the contest you can go through the, this weekly contest of a lead code even in the lead code there is a multi uh, there's a four question they are also asking and the most probably that uh, in forces uh, the level of uh, questions is going to similar like this but not uh, all the similar like this uh, only the third and fourth question might be similar or maybe some harder than uh, this if you are able to solve all these four questions on lead code definitely you will crack the at least two to three questions definitely you will solve and so just practice uh, your uh, skills so now let's come to my interview question like for my, uh, my interview in the interview i have to solve this question on paint uh, on paper i uh, they did not ask me to solve uh, on uh, uh, the coding platform like lead code or gfg they just asked me to give me the pseudo code uh, for this but they asked me all the memory optimization space of uh, time complexity optimization all uh, all of this they asked me to solve in pseudo code only like first uh, uh, recursion, uh, recursion way then memoization then tabulation they asked me to uh, write the code for all of the, this this was the uh, first question the second question was to find the closest number this is a binary search question uh, my interviewer asked me to uh, to just tell me the approach and the formula that are going to be used to solve this question then after uh, the third question is about uh, my uh, my sql question the third question is uh, my sql uh, the sql question the, the right hand sql query to uh, retrieve the name of all companies that have more than five employees each company name should uh, appear only once in the result so this is a first of all uh, a group by and group by and a having clause uh, conditions you can use it even using subquery subquery also but uh, there's no need to solve it. it is using subquery so this was the all the things one thing i would like to mention is that uh, do not uh, get panic in the examination because now this uh, be because uh, you are going to give your examination on your examination center so definitely you will get a environment where everyone is trying to solve the question even the some people are not be able to solve uh, some questions some people uh, will get panic at there but still you can try to solve all the questions if, if only if 
you are able to solve first two question in two uh, in uh, first two words because if you are able to first two questions you will get you will uh, what you can say uh, you, uh, you are safe, uh, safe uh, you are in safe uh, uh, area you are in safe uh, your safeguard your uh, your SPL1 role so do not get panic in the interview and uh, in the assessment just try to solve the questions just read the question properly and try to think in the uh, first to try to think in the question is mentioned then again try to think in uh, the way the test case is given like sometimes you will get some pattern in test case sometimes you will get some pattern on uh, that question statement so try to in this way try to uh, uh, think about edge case because most of the time it's in that uh, you are uh, able to solve eight to nine test case but uh, you're not able to solve one or two test case and uh, for uh, that uh, you are that submission is not going to be valid you should have to pass all the test case because in my uh, because i've seen that some people are able to solve the two questions are able to solve two questions partially not fully uh, they uh, submitted the, for the first question they submitted nine test case the second one they able to six to seven test case pass but they are not get, uh, not get selected for uh, even for the dsc role so think about it and uh, when you re uh, when you come to the end now you come to the end so i request you to please subscribe my channel and uh, follow me on uh, any of uh, and follow me on uh, my linkedin uh, so where you can also connect me even if you have some doubt you can either comment or uh, contact me on my linkedin or instagram profile i will definitely reply you your all queries and uh, definitely if you have some uh, common doubts then i will make another video today evening and tomorrow thank you guys